Hi guys and welcome back to my Food Island Way, my channel. Good morning, it's a Saturday morning in Sydney, Australia. We got a long weekend. It's a public holiday on Monday. I think it's a Queen's birthday. Happy birthday, Queen! <laughs> um, yeah, and um, today um, we're gonna celebrate my one of my brothers, um, my older brother's um, birthday. So uh, of course we're gonna go to the birthday party, and then yeah, I'm gonna I'm organize some something to take. And today I decided to cook corn beef. You know corn beef, salty beef. In this bucket you can buy them from the island shop or yeah, where you can find corn beef. If you if you can't find corn beef, you can um, buy suicide, suicide from the Woolworths or yeah anywhere any supermarket. But I like this with more flavor than the suicide. So what I'm gonna do. There's um, our corn beef, if I can get it out. We've got our corn beef here, guys. There's a lot of fat in this, but when I'm going to boil it. And I'm going to put it in here. Some have got bones, some um, boneless. But I'm putting it in here because after that I boil it for an hour and a half, I'm going to, um, what do you call I'm going to put it back in the tray because I need to make sauce for it. So corn beef with um, cauliflower um, sauce. See guys? It's a lot of corn beef. Yeah, see? A real corn beef, not the suicide from the supermarket. So I'm going to just do this. Then I'll put it in a pot and then I'll boil it, fill it up with water and boil it for um, an hour and a half. I'm making a lot so I, yeah, oh one more in there, that's a lot in one bucket. Okay, guys. Oops. Um, there's our corned beef. I'm gonna put it in a pot. Why didn't I, you ask question? Why didn't you put it straight in a pot? <laughs> oh my bad. I was just want to see how much it is in there. Because there's gonna be a lot of people today in a birthday, my brother's birthday. So I need to make sure I'm taking enough. So I always have better to have leftover and people take food home than not enough. Okay guys, some of it and um yeah, what's the other barrel? See that's not enough guys. I bought two barrel. <laughs> um yeah. Guys, the flavor of this, it's uh, most of Islanders' favorite food. The goon beef. We all Islanders love the goon beef. But don't to eat too much at once. <laughs> there you go, guys. My pot is full. And I've got still got more in here, and I think that's enough. Okay. Let's go and wash this and then let's go on with it. Get on with it. <laughs> Hi guys, um, I already washed this out with cold water and uh, because it's very salty so um, I hope I didn't wash all the salt down. <laughs> okay, all I'm going to add in here, I already got water in there. It looks like I'm needed a bigger bowl. But hey, it's going to boil, take the two and uh, what a good one and a half hour to cook this corn beef and I'm gonna add it's water in there we just boil it to cook it if this thing um, decided to open for me I've got a um, garlic and herbs and uh, I've got a dry garlic 
It's just a flavoring. So I'm gonna add, add just a handful of garlic. Dry garlic, guys. Just add it in there. It's all to do with the flavor. If this ring allow me to open it, I'll get a knife. Now I'm got a scissors. I don't know why this bloody thing doesn't open. Maybe I rip it wrong. Let's see if it doesn't open for me. Absolutely um, pathetic. That's why we should open it before we start, isn't it? Okay. Garlic and herbs. I want that gone beef to taste the best. Okay, you just, um, what you do is have all that herbs and garlic going around it. And around it. And once it boils, it's going to cook anyway. Cook. All the flavor goes all the way through it. Okay, guys, I'm putting this on the stove for one hour and a half. Hey, guys, uh, we got a um, got a tray of cauliflower. Now I just pour some cauliflower. We cut it all up. I'm gonna just um, I'm gonna need a little bit more in there on the tray because we have a lot of corn beef to go with. So um, yeah, just got some more cauliflower up. For we'll make sure everybody has some. It's just a matter of just cutting it like this and I'm gonna put after I put my white sauce on there I'm gonna um, put a bit of cheese and put it back in the oven so let us keep going with this I think that's enough cold flour for now for our tray this is what called with our corned beef yeah um, what I'm gonna add in there is a little bit of oil a little tiny bit of oil guys so it doesn't it's a sprinkle of oil on there give the moisture on our cauliflower what is in the oven a little pinch of salt pinch of salt and a little bit of pepper black pepper that's it guys oh this go in the oven for like 25 to 30 minutes and when it's cooked it'll be like almost golden brown and then we just put a sauce on it, a sauce on it. I'm gonna use half of the cauliflower flour and um, boil it down to mash and then add milk and then do a white sauce to go over this okay bear with me and um, let's get going with our cooking hey guys um, got a little pot here on our stove I've got up some um, more coated flowers that's for our so uh, white sauce to go over our coated flowers in the oven that's gonna be a creamy and Okay, let's put our stove on. Okay, our stove, a glass of water, and full cream milk. And let's boil our um, cauliflower flour slowly on um, what do you call our on our milk and water until the cauliflower is ready ready mash you can always add more cream more milk if um, when our cauliflower is cooked and if you need more sauce okay let's that bring to the boil Come on. Okay. Again, pinch of salt. Don't make it too salty your sauce because you're eating it with corned beef. You know the salty corned beef. Okay, just a little bit of um, garlic. Just a 
pinch of garlic in there to flavor our sauce. That's enough. And again, our bit of pepper. That's enough. And you can use fresh lemon, but I've got a lemon bottle here. So just a couple of drop. That's it guys. Let our sauce come into boil and then let's boil our cauliflower slowly. And let's keep going with this. Our cauliflower is um, reduced right down the milk and water. Now, this is aside. And I think I'm gonna, what do you call? Use this. I don't like these things, but. If you have a blender, you can just put this is what we need a creamy sauce to go on our table. So we just go on our vegetable. Now, that's enough, guys. Just enough. Okay. Look, guys. Look at our sauce. Just beautiful. And then we just it's just go on our vegetable. Look guys, um got our vegetable out of um the oven now. I got it flowers. Nice and little gold. Now that goldness colour. Okay, um I'm gonna spoon our sauce on here now. So creamy sauce. Just lay it on it. Now creamy sauce. Here when you make it, you make it enough, make sure it's, um, it's going all over your uh, our vegetable. Cover the all the it's just very healthy. You can eat it like this guys, but I mainly made it so you can eat it with the uh, corn beef. I mean I just make the perfect sauce it's just enough. That's enough guys. Okay. Let's put this one here. Okay. Look guys, got our sauce on in there. Yes. And um, now I'm gonna put uh, our cheese on it. I'm using um, Australian tasty cheese. So not too much, just a sprinkle on top of it. Make sure you cover it. Okay, good. that's enough. Yeah, check it back in the oven for five minutes to melt our cheese and that's it. Okay, let's put this baby in the oven. Careful, don't burn your hand, but this tray doesn't go hot anyway. Look, we've got our cheese all melt. The sauce is running through the everything. So what I'm gonna do now is get some of parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Yeah, just grind the top of it. Don't be shy, don't be shy to put the hips in there. Just shake. 
shave it off. Mm, mm, mm. This smells so good, guys. Yeah, you can just eat it like this. I put a little bit of sprinkle of dry parsley because it's gonna be cooking there anyway in the steam of the vegetable. So now I'm gonna put some slices of a little bit of coriander to put that freshness on now. On our vegetable. That's enough. Here you go guys. Happy, happy, happy. It's not hot. I love those trays and not hot. They don't get hot. Okay guys, look. And that's it, it's done. Seal it with foil. And we're ready to go. Our corned beef now is um, nearly an hour and a half to be boiled for and it's nearly ready and it's starting to go get ready to go to our body. There we go. Hey okay, guys, that's the food. Some taro, some meat, some salad, some uh, vegetarian salad. <laughs> and mashed potato, some rice, uh, corn beef, some lamb oil, yeah. and uh, mushroom. Next to the potato? No. Okay, guys. Um, we've got our family here. The Many a lot of kids. <laughs> Where's the uh, birthday boy? <laughs> and the banana trees. <laughs> oh, having a. Yeah, uh, that's a uh, happy birthday, brother. <laughs> uh, and that's, that's it, guys. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, my family. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Oh my God. You too. Bye, guys. My food, my way. And we're gonna have a swim after. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody's here. No. Happy birthday, dear Siona. Happy birthday to you. Manuela was so fun. Manuela. We are was a fun Happy birthday to Make a wish. Yay! Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! One for me? No! <laughs>